12-year-old Tessa will not get a chance to shoot this big tom turkey on this chilly spring morning. The angle is never right. However, this isn't her first rodeo thanks to Idaho Fish and Game's youth hunting program. The first time I went hunting for myself was when I got my first turkey, actually here on this property, and um, I got my first tom, and it was really cool. <laughs> the adrenaline comes, and you're totally shaking, and but it's, it's really fun, and that's why I keep going back. After the tom retreats, a couple of deer show up. Confused by the two blinds, they huff and stomp their uncertainty. Then they, too, withdraw. It's wildlife moments like these that make the hunting experience so enriching. Interacting with nature and, and developing that understanding with the components and how they interact and, and those relationships uh, better equip people to make good decisions on, on management and, 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 and anything associated with the outdoors. This hunt on private property near Grangeville is a result of a bid Tessa's dad Scott placed during the Wild Turkey Federation banquet. It's an opportunity for uh, the director's office to be auctioned off so that funds can be raised for good conservation purposes. The real benefit comes that the director gets to go out with some kids to go hunting, and uh, I love it. The rest of the day is spent hiking, calling turkeys. and loafing comfortably, enjoying the view. Conversation is quiet and ambling. Ready? Yep. It's nice to be with Dad and just me and Dad time, you know. It is the kind of time that builds memories. Our youth hunts in Idaho are very special in terms of passing on our traditions and cultures to our children. Uh, too often in the hecticness of life we get too busy and uh, these youth hunts require us as adults to focus on those children, passing those traditions on, passing on that knowledge and skill and understanding and excitement that all comes together when you go hunting.